to tell you a story of Christmas in France. Come join me. Bonjour. Bonjour. Joyeux Noël. Merry Christmas. Hello, everyone. Bonjour. Bonjour. You can say bonjour. Bonjour. It's not television. I can hear you. <laughs> bonjour, everyone. Bonjour. Bonjour. Very nice. Very holiday. A holiday spectacle here. Very nice. Bonjour, everyone. As we say on France, Joyeux Noël. Merry Christmas. Ah, lovely. And of course, we have the Santa from Hawaii here. Very nice to have you. Thank you. All right. Well, bonjour, everyone. Uh, I, do you know who I am? Oh, no, I am not Santa Claus. I heard somebody say Santa Claus, but I did hear some other ones say Père Noël. Yes, I am Le Père Noël, Father Christmas, the good spirit of the season. And it is a joy to find all of you in good spirits. Now, I have another question. Have any of you or your petits enfants ever written a letter to my friend Santa Claus at the North Pole, huh? Yes? Yeah. Yeah, you big people can admit it too, huh? <laughs> well, if a child writes a letter to me, Père Noël, en France, and they put a return address on it, the French government pays the postage on my reply. Not bad, huh? <laughs> well, I do receive many letters, and I would like to share with you one of my favorites. It came to me from a lovely little girl named Babette. She lives with her Uncle Louis, and her big brother, Francois, on a farm near Le Beau in the mountains of Provence. And I hope it will give you a, a small taste of the holiday season on France. Écoutez, listen. She writes, Dear Père Noël, c'est moi. Even though my big brother, Francois, says that Christmas is for babies, oh. oh, oh. I look forward to La Veille du Petit Jésus and a visit from you. Well, of course she does. The watch night, you call it Christmas Eve, is a magical evening when my family sits in front of the fire, sipping hot cider, and Uncle Louis tells us the story of the birth of the baby Jésus. Now she goes on to say the big brother Francois, he teases her about this. You see, he believes he's too old for all this. He does not believe in Christmas. He does not believe in Père Noël. But for me, nothing can surpass the magic of the watch night or the fragile beauty on a child's face on Christmas morning. Alors, with Christmas still several days away, Uncle Louis will shh, secretly decorate the Christmas tree. And Babette and Francois will set up the crèche. Now, do you know this word crèche? Yes. Nativity scene. Yeah, one of the most important symbols of the Christmas season to the French. Even if it was invented by an Italian. St. Francis of Assisi, but I guess he's okay too. <laughs> now, you know these little statues you place inside the crèche of Mary, Joseph, the three wise men. Well, in Provence, where Babette is from, it is also tradition to include statues of people from your village. The baker, the priest, small figures made out of clay, called Santon, little saints. And Babette's wish for Christmas last year was for another Santon to place in the major scene, as if it were going to worship the baby Jesus. It is a lovely tradition, no? Now, last year, Babette was also finally old enough to go to Midnight Mass with Uncle Louis and my friends. It was very beautiful. Uncle Louis carried a newborn lamb into the church to give to the priest to symbolize the Lamb of God. And then he placed it in a cart and Babette, she pulled it all around the church for everyone to see while shepherds played on flutes and drums. Now after Mass, it is home again for Le Ravion, the big supper. Who likes to eat at Christmas time, huh? Yeah, who likes to eat all the time? <laughs> well, in France, it is no different. And Babette feasted. She had roast goose. She had pâté, she had le fromage. Oh, le fromage, it sounds fancy, no? It means cheese. <laughs> and for dessert, bouche de Noël, a cake shaped like a Yule log. Even Francois likes that one. Then Babette will take the senton of the baby Jésus and place it in the crèche. Enfin, the last thing she does before she goes to bed is to take her shoes and place them by the hearth. For me, two filled with treats and goodies. Now, last year, Babette was a bit, how you say, uh, devilish, because this is the shoe she left with her name on it. <laughs> if this is Babette's shoe, she is a crampier, eh? how you say, Bigfoot. <laughs> well, the next day, Christmas morning itself, bright and early, Babette jumps out the bed, she rubs her eyes, she tries to wake Francois. After all, she wants to see what Père Noël has left for her, but oh... Oh, Francois, he takes his time. After all, he does not believe in Christmas. He does not believe in Père Noël. Yet, when the children get downstairs to look under the Christmas tree, their eyes are greeted by a magical sight. Not one, but three Santons. Just as my little friend requested. One looks like Uncle Louis. The second, like doubting Francois. And the third, well, the third looks just like sweet little Babette herself. She concludes her letter to say, 
So you can see, I believe in Christmas. I think it is a very magical day. I'll take a Christmas tree, Santon, and you, Père Noël. Love, Babette. And that, mes amis, gives you a small flavor of the holiday season in France through the eyes of a delightful child. A, a sneaky one. <laughs> but a delightful one nonetheless. And you know, just this morning, I received a letter for this year from guess who? Francois. So I guess he's come to believe in Christmas just a little bit, though. He was very high tech. He Facebooked me. <laughs> so what of you, Mesami? Do you believe in Christmas? Yes. Do you believe in Père Noël? Yes. Then can you wish me a Merry Christmas in my language? In France, we say Joyeux Noël. On three, un, deux, trois. Joyeux Noël. Uh, music to Père Noël's ears. And to all of you, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Joyeux Noël, everyone! Oh, merci. You are far too kind. Now, it is a very busy time of year for Père Noël, but I have a few minutes before I go to uh, come up and say hello. And uh, so if you'd like to, let's make a line right over this way. Uh, we'll start behind the lovely family in bright bejeweled colors. All right, right over here.